like oh, interesting. 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 Yeah, which yeah. everybody yeah. seems to like. I like it. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, yeah, so am I. Now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, you know it's been a real nice time when I sit down in my throne and I say, yeah, bring in some very special guests inside to the queenship. So people, I'm just gonna let you just know something. I'm just gonna say something, just real quick before I even say anything about my guests. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all you beautiful subscribers and all you beautiful viewers and all the wonderful comments you've been coming in with. Really appreciate you, I'm all dribbling. <laughs> anyway, so moving forward, I've got the brilliant, beautiful Chantel Rochester. Hello. How are you? I'm AKA, good. AKA Nova Sky. <laughs> <laughs> but she ain't got no blue one at the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. No blue one today. So how many personalities you got? Boy, <laughs> now that would be telling. <laughs> And I've also got the brilliant Marvin, her right hand, Cody, who has got such a historic, historic resume. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you don't know anything about in oh, say it for me, please. Streets incarcerated. There we go. I couldn't <laughs> get that out. Yeah, streets incarcerated. If you don't know, go and Google. Yeah. Because that was the place I remember when we used to get the DVDs mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. the roads. Yeah. Come on, come Being on. sold from yeah, bags yeah, 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 on the road, yeah, up it, and down it. central London. There was no all over. no YouTube. Nah. <laughs> hand to hand. Yeah, so <laughs> love. love. You get respect, what I'm respect, saying? Respect, respect, so Shan. Respect. Yes. What's been going on? Boy, what ain't going on? <laughs> so I know who Chantel Rochester is. <laughs> oh gosh. But please let the people know. We're gonna these are our two friends right here. Yes, alright, let me run the resume down. Um so I'm Chantel aka Oh, no, oh. So that's my beautiful friends. Let Those are her you. beautiful friends. Hi. So this is the wide shot. This is your close up. This okay. Your close -up. <laughs> Give thanks. <laughs> cool. Hi everyone, um, I'm Chantel, um, aka Nova Sky. Um, I'm a film producer, actress, director, um, and I'm also a rap and singer um, under, under the name of Nova Sky. Mm -hmm. um, I also do stunts. Mm -hmm. I can kick some ass. She can kick Don't some play. ass. Yeah. Again. Yeah. I'm talking I can, about. Can you show, can, 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 oh, I wish I could. Uh, do you know what? Can you show them a quick hands move or, or a block me? or something? So if I come to you like this. You see that look? You see that look? <laughs> what? 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 I, I, you see how she was. <laughs> <laughs> so she got the look and the counter. <laughs> how long have you been doing stunts for? Because it's not often we are aware of many black women who are stunts. Yeah women especially in the uk mm, yeah. mm -hmm. um so i met up with um a friend of mine called jordan moody and his wife sherelle mm -hmm. now now moody because they got married mm -hmm. hey congratulations um about a year and a half two years ago mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um i'd done like dance karate before i met them and then i went into we went really stringent nearly every day in kung fu mm -hmm. uh stunt work mm -hmm. um i still we still uh, run a company csc stunts mm -hmm. so you can catch them csc underscore stunts go there you'll see all of our lovely stuff mm -hmm. um and yeah we just kind of thought especially there was no black stunt agency mm -hmm. so for us that was like key because there's a lot of black content needed now and that's coming through mm -hmm. but yet the, there's big holes mm -hmm, in, in, mm -hmm. in, in the process because mm -hmm. we haven't raised our stars the way that we should have done mm -hmm. or those that had the keys mm -hmm. hasn't raised our mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. the way they should have done so there was a lot of holes when um um, black actors are now being asked to do action films mm -hmm. and thrillers mm -hmm. and all of this stuff that hasn't really happened before and the holes are stunts so they were having to um, paint um, make uh, white stunt uh, but stunt actors no, uh, black, black, black wow or, that's and, mad you know that's you know um, and because we have like mainly about one or two one we had one um, lady mm -hmm. um, she can't remember her name but she's been in stunt for ages but she mm -hmm. was one of the only ones she's like 
done it Halle Berry's stuff she's mm -hmm, one mm -hmm, of the only mm -hmm. ones and now it's starting to kind of mature even Mary J Blige has set up a new initiative in the US oh, is it? Um, for Cause stunt you... females um, and black stunt females young young ones coming in I've just got to say I absolutely rate Shan yeah you know why I rate Shan because I'm like stunts so you want me to brock up myself <laughs> you understand hold that yeah. but, but the paint's nice though isn't it it's yeah, tidy it's tidy well if you know how to do it you shouldn't really be brocking up yourself because you got to do it over and over and over again <laughs> just saying just saying but me i just you know a coward lives longer than a hero there we go yeah <laughs> i know what i'm carrying from and stumps is one of them yeah um mm. no but i just I, I just really what i first wanted to do it because i felt if i was going to push my acting especially mm -hmm. over in the states and, and around course. it'd be good to have an extra skill to be able of to course. develop of course of course i um, really and then yeah so now I've, i really enjoy it i think you know I'm, it'll be good I'm for you to do a kung fu heights. film though yes. yeah i ain't seen no i ain't seen no black woman kung fu expert Listen, or acting go, seriously, start, you see all of yeah, us well, kung fu because she could do the drunk drop kicking, master. Yeah, drop, right. kicking <laughs> drop kicking <laughs> without being drunk <laughs> So you've been doing, so I know we spoke about the stunts, I know you've listed mm. uh, a, a lot of roles because you wear a lot of hats and they're mm. all interlinked somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Um, so in regards to media, what made you, what was the point where you said, you know what, I want to be involved in media? Um, oh, well, I was, I started in music, I started singing. There we go. When I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. um, and funny story, I got to 17, I got signed mm -hmm. by a Paris company. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got on stage and I was, I got stage fright. You choked? Yeah. I, I just couldn't do it, I started sweating. It's alright, darling. It's, just all... it's alright, it's alright. It happened to Eminem. <laughs> Look at him now. <laughs> <laughs> My dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't realise I was scared. Mm -hmm. um, so he put me in this group um, mm -hmm. and during our rehearsals, mm -hmm. um, I decided that um, at the time, I'm showing my age now, I think Cameron and Dipset had mm -hmm. come over to Scala. Mm -hmm. And I really, they were like one of my idols. And mm -hmm. I was like, can I go? And he was like, no, because you could smoke in, a, in, in the clubs. Yeah, then. back then. So they were like, no, you're going to mess up your voice. You've got a show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I snuck out, yeah. And um, when I got there, um, yeah, he took a liking to me. So he had all these pictures. Mm -hmm. There's me trying to hide. <laughs> <laughs> then I snuck back in. And then in the morning, he was just like, you're fired. And I was like, oh, huh? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean fired? <laughs> like, 17, you know, I had a bit of attitude on me. So I was like, what do you mean fired? You can't fire me. What? Like, the group was what? made for me. Are you mad? <laughs> the ego was out He was there. like, yeah, you're fired. <laughs> So I went home to my mum, cried on her shoulder for a bit. I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. My life's over. Mm -hmm. And then a friend of mine who used to do acting asked me to come to follow her to an audition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, But I had to read the, or do the audition mm -hmm. in order to stay in the room. Of course. Um, so I just took a piece of paper. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and then it came up to my turn, like, and I'm quite fast on the reading. Mm -hmm. So I was like, went in there, done it, and I got the role. See, because you're a G. She's yeah. not my friend no more, though. <laughs> You know, all reasons, seasons, you know, like, so that's everybody how I got away. Um, at the same time as that is my mum was in social work for like 20 years and she said, do you know, what? I want to do something more creative. So I was like, let's set up a media company. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would literally r jumped into Lewisham College because mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing about filming mm -hmm. part of it and started to do their moving image. And while we were doing that, me and my mum set up the company mm -hmm. and we started to, because my mum really wanted to help. So we started going into schools. Mm -hmm. Man, and she'd done a, she went back to Ravensbourne and got mm -hmm. off 1-1 one -one in university in broadcasting. What? And I was in college and we were started going into schools um those you know neats and mm -hmm. teaching people that weren't mm -hmm. really into the normal structure of sitting down so doing you work. worked with yeah worked neats for the people who don't know are children who are not in education and employment training <laughs> yeah, just making people know you moved them from neat to eat yeah mm -hmm. so we started doing that and that the business just grew really successfully. Mm -hmm. We were in Pride, we were in all the magazines. Mm -hmm. um, I was a um, year of volunteer in 2005 with uh, Prince Harry. Mm -hmm. um, like, it just moved like. Prince Harry never moved to you then, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you met my mum, right? That weren't going to happen. You said mum. What I really appreciate, and mm -hmm. I'll just rope it back in. Firstly, manners and respect for Shan's mum, because she passed away. Um, how long ago did she pass away? January. January. 2021 yeah your mum serious grafter yeah and that's what i know yeah, yeah. Serious like lady. she and she you, the what's beautiful for me is when, as you're talking about your journey you mentioned about doing things with mummy 
Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Creating your own mm. opportunities rather than just waiting for people to hand them to you on a plate. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And I rate that. So more power to you and your queen mother yeah. who will always be with you. Definitely. Yeah. She's taught me a lot about business and, you know, just don't wait for people to open doors. You just keep kicking them in mm-hmm. um, until they give you, until you get what you want. There's mm-hmm. no point in stopping because it's still painful down there. You know <laughs> As what? it is climbing. So look into that camera right there. <laughs> that camera right there. And I want you to tell, because some people can't handle or rejection mm. and in regards of the the arts especially in the acting like you go for auditions people go for auditions and sometimes you get a no or even a deal it's a no what, what would you say to somebody out there listen don't quit that is just the biggest thing ever i wrote my first business plan when me and my mom started business at 18 and i had everybody saying to me i said i wanted to be a producer a director i wanted to do music i wanted to do all these four or five things and i said they all interlock mm-hmm. because when you watch a film you've got music you've got acting you've got producing you've got everything in the one thing mm-hmm. and i wanted to do all of those things and i remember people going you can't mix and blend them you can't mm-hmm. do this you can't do that i wrote another business plan um about 15 years later without knowing what that one said i wrote it and i found in the attic my old business plan is exactly the same you, you know saying? so i wasted 15 years on people telling me that no I can't you do can't all do of these things mm-hmm. only to come around now and be doing exactly what i said i was gonna do so don't listen to you no one whether it be family whether it be friends mm-hmm. whether it, nobody knows how you feel in your heart go with mm-hmm. that go with that because the only thing that's going to make you happy and people don't realize happiness keeps you alive happiness makes you want to go on with your life every single day and if you ain't got that you ain't got nothing yeah. so don't listen to them it's well. what we say in it <laughs> keep telling you be your authentic self do you you understand what I'm saying mm. and listen when the people say about giving up it's only when you say you give up you give up in it mm. and until I just say to people I've got breath in it as long as I've got breath mm. as long as I can breathe I'm going to keep on doing better and don't you know get I mean? me wrong it's you know don't get me wrong there's not times that you don't feel like you want to give it. up <laughs> so just go in your bed cry your eyes out watch whatever film you got to watch eat the crap food you got to eat but a couple of days later get up rise again and carry on moving, I, mean, you know? how, I mean why do you Simple think I'm this that. big guys <laughs> like hello this is the amount of times I've stopped and started <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm just letting you know the ups and downs, you know? You're doing well, then after that it's like you get hit a brick wall, yeah? I'm not giving up, but I am going to pick up my tub. (laughs) (laughs) Mm. Moderately. Mm. (laughs) Um, And also, you know kudos to my to marvin here mm-hmm. have friends around that come and help you because you see this energy circle here if you've got too much negative people in your circle it's mm-hmm. not helping you and even the people that are on a lower level mm. unfortunately you can't talk to small-minded people about big ideas don't do it it's not worth your time you need people like i got my homie here whereas sometimes we're both feeling like we're stuck in a place mm-hmm. you know what i mean he'll come over and just come man of course man we're good and vice versa and you need that you need that so one or important. two people to do that for you because that's what keeps you kind of moving and also thinking about how grateful you are for the things that you do have listen listen hold on a minute hold on before i even bring in marvin <laughs> <laughs> yeah marvin ain't starving yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you've done some phenomenal things and um one of the things was uh two graves yes netflix netflix mm-hmm. isn't it mm-hmm. the exact nature of our wrongs it's not the 90s anymore tommy you want to find out sergeant what did you learn about guns was a medic in the army. Step eight. Make a list of all persons we have harmed. Appear to keep trespassers off the land. Please. You Craziness. Just... <laughs> no, there's not any old thing in it. <laughs> Two story. graves, Netflix, producer, in fact. An actor. Yeah. An actor in Two Graves. <laughs> and you, there was, because there was a little article about you being. Yeah, so. You're like broke. You are the first black woman to. Yeah, producer. See? Um, to Just have to... something called Netflix. Did you hear that in the UK? Oh, you were around the world. That was, that was, that was, that was, <laughs> uh, but I didn't even know it at the time. That's the madness. When I started up the company to mm-hmm. to show diverse content and to to mm-hmm. have it behind the camera as well, and also to help people in the industry, I hadn't realised it hadn't been done. It was only as I started to get there was no doors, mm-hmm. and I had to start creating them. Is when I realised actually these doors don't exist. Mm-hmm. Like they do not exist. And can I just say something? The only reason I'm really saying first black 
um, female producer, and I'm bringing it up as a reference point of Two Graves. You can watch it here. Yeah. <laughs> is The only reason I'm saying and mentioning it is because I watch Netflix. I watch lots of stuff. And you know the credits are always rolling. Mm. And I'm thinking that media has been going on for so long. Yeah, and I'm like, first black female producer. But I know quite... There's a few out there. Mm. How come nobody's done it yet? And when I think about some of the Gs out there, mm. I'm like, right, but you're my sister in. Like, I could pick up the phone and call you because I've got a phone book like that. <laughs> like, I would have thought it had been done. Me too. Well, like, more power to you. You Me understand? Too. I salute. Me too. Um, same thing when um, I was just on the back end associate producer of the film No Shade, mm -hmm. um, but Claire, um, who who directed and starred in it, she became the sixth uh, person to sh to sixth person in 124 years, sixth director, black female UK director to show their products, show their film in the Odeon. 120 years. Just like, let that sink in for a moment. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? I've got goosebumps down the side. I'm like, what? Like this, uh, anyway, I can talk about the, the injustice, the politics of the systems and the various different arenas mm -hmm. for time. I'm not going to even do it. Yeah, I'm not going to do it, mm -hmm. but I'm going to leave you to write about that in your comments because this is facts and it shows you that there's something not quite right, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should yeah. we really be celebrating? <laughs> <laughs> for what should be standards? Just saying. That's true. Um, That's true. Also... So I'm going to bring in Marvin now, yeah? But watch how I do it. So Nova Sky, that's the other personality, yeah? <laughs> Nova Sky, you work, yes. real, you work with Marvin. He supports you. Yeah, so Marvin co-writes with me. Okay. Um, he helps me kind of choose. It's kind of, he's, he's kind of my, my go-to. Like when I hear a track or something, mm -hmm. me and him will vibe. If we're not writing mm -hmm. together, I'll get his opinion. We kind of just bounce off each other. We mm -hmm. work very well. Co-create. And it's funny because when we first met, um, it was I was one of the first uh, black uh, female shows on YouTube mm -hmm. um, early 2010, 11, something yeah, like yeah, that. Because like um, there was no programs like that. And it was before the big time. And it was about basically I me remember. struggling. Yes. <laughs> As a producer. And Marvin was the camera. He done all the camera Camera editing operating. I actually that. remember you mentioning his name now, you yeah. know. Yeah. And yeah. then YouTube contacted us to brand it and all <laughs> of that kind of stuff. Um, so we kind of started back then um, on that. And we just seemed to gel. Anything mm -hmm. creative, me and him just seemed to be able to just no effort you know mm -hmm. what i mean we can just come in there right we're doing video right cool these are the ideas blah 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 mm -hmm. we challenge each other we make it mm -hmm. good whether it's music we mm -hmm. just seem to vibes and that's where it i works. think the the, the 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 magic gets made see balance yeah yeah male and female energy working together don't we just love it <laughs> marvin so and it's mad as well because she's a scorpion i'm a cancer and that's like meant to be the perfect like blend so what you tweet you do <laughs> Well, you know, I don't know. Might have to go and buy a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna buy. Anyway. I've got my bonnet. <laughs> love it uh, so Marvin like how long really how long have you been dealing with music writing film all of that um music I think I've been dealing with music since I was in secondary school mm -hmm. um you know just rapping lyrics I used to love Snoop Dogg Snoop Dogg oh. was like one of my favorite guys he that was, was my husband you know that we had to have a divorce yeah. though because he was already married <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I guess it just started from school and then um Moved on to listening to like Jungle Drum and Bass, mm -hmm. MC Det Skibber. Mm -hmm. Them guys gave me a voice mm -hmm. when I heard that I used to like recite their lyrics. And one day I just thought, oh, maybe I can write my own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from there, I never looked back. Um, went to the studio, mm -hmm. didn't know anything about how studio worked. I saw the big mixing desk, and I was like, how am I gonna? I'm not gonna work, work this out. out. <laughs> but you know what I realised? When you really want to do something, you really love it, you just work it out. I mean, yeah. 30 days later, I was a mixer and a mastering like. I had like I'd never not done it before. See what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And streets incarcerated because yeah, that's 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 there a part of UK. <laughs> that's yeah, there. Yeah. So streets incarcerated um, came about. So obviously I was a fan at, at first. Mm -hmm. um, everyone started like filming their radio station sets and stuff like that. My dad gave me a camera back back in the day, big VHS tapes, one. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I went out there. My mum bought me. Um, when it came to the digital age, my mum bought me my first DV cam mm -hmm. because she believed in me. She said, you know, I can see you really want to do this. I'm going to buy your first cam oh. camera. 
Um, big up Mumsy, yeah. big up Pops, big them up. So bought me a camera, filmed some videos. Um, there was a crew called Essentials. Mm-hmm. There was quite big in South. And um, I shot a video for Remedy, one of the lead mm-hmm. guys. Shot a video for him, edited up real sick. And I think one of his mates saw it that was like the, the head of Streets Incarcerated and said, well, who, who edited and shot that? Mm-hmm. And then obviously gave my name forward and then... It just there, yeah, they there. just they came and met me and like gave me some mad interview, yeah, <laughs> and then asked to look at the rest of my work. And then from there, they was like, All right, "Cool." And and fun fact, actually, um, this was just before gigs mm-hmm. became really big. So mm-hmm. the first few projects they gave me was gigs, um, do this thing. PYGs, it was all like, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? So I kind of felt like a bit gassed, you know what I mean? A bit gassed, watch his face. Because they it? just started getting light. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Well, and, but you know what I enjoy? I enjoy like being an editor because not a lot of people, I think editors are overlooked. But what I enjoy is mm-hmm. the fact that people enjoy my work and they don't even know it's me. Can I just stop you for one moment, bro? Yeah, because yeah, I don't know if you could see, but in the corner of my eye, yeah. I can just see my brilliant production team Yeah, <laughs> sitting there going... When you said editors mm. get neg- uh, get overlooked, yeah. they were like, yeah, no, I could just see them starting a strike. Yeah. <laughs> we it's called the, the editors for union. We set the tone for. Of course, what you I think editors. I really need to be appreciated. Yeah, all, in fact, yeah. all the production, mm, but yeah. editors do get overlooked. Content is king right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You need the editor. Come Those, on. And, and it's the editor and there's the it's editing and mm-hmm. producing. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's like everybody's dumps everything on the producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without the producer, you ain't they got, got sh- program. Yeah. I, this is what I, this is what we know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but this is why I feel. And this is why I'm just so. This is why I love this conversation as well. And as a team, guys, just letting you know, I love you. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate them. Yeah, you know, definitely. they appreciate me. I appreciate them. Logic and me have this conversation all the time. <laughs> Um, so, all right, so now you two work together, so that's mm. producing, that's media, you've had a journey, I love how you brought in your family as well, yeah. I say this because it's about, um, what's really nice is if you, people who've got children out there, if your child is interested in something, invest in them, mm. yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying, that's yeah. what I heard, yeah, 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 no, clear, it's true, it's true. you know, true, so, true. and and now, you lot, uh, well, you've got, yeah, Just Nova Sky, no, Nova Sky, Nova Sky, soon reach. Um. <laughs> no, listen, she's got some. Listen, she's, she's got some material she's content. Some she's stuff. been grafting she's got hard. Some stuff coming, man. I'm excited. I'm yeah, excited. Um, you yeah. had a single released money. Well, yeah, we released um, a kind of dance to a tune called Secretly. Yo, my dirty secret. Yo, my dirty secret. Yo, my dirty, 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 dirty secret. Mm-hmm. Um, then we released a hip hop tune called uh, Money. Sunday. You don't know money like I know money. Mercedes rolling, honey. See a gal there looking at me funny. Might share if you're lucky. Mm-hmm. You don't know no money, money like I know money. money. Uh, hey, hey. You don't no, know no money like I know money. Uh. <laughs> Just let um, me know and get it on Spotify, Apple, and everything. <laughs> okay. Um, and um, so yeah, that, and then I'm really excited because it's funny because me and Marvin, um, we literally started writing together a couple years years mm-hmm. ago. So those two tracks were first. They they they're like a couple years, mm-hmm. you know, in the making. Mm-hmm. And again, it comes up with the same thing because people were telling me, because my producing and my acting was going so well, mm-hmm. people were saying, so why do you want to go and do music? music? Mm-hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? You ain't got enough time, blah, 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 blah. So in a way, we kind of wrote it and then kind of, I wouldn't even say fell off, but you know when you're just like, oh, maybe people will see me differently mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I'm a different... I'm, other people, I'm a different, yeah, whatever. I'm a different yeah. essence yeah. when I'm Nova Sky. Do yeah, you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, we have to start with a person could be how many people you want to be. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and, can I, can I, can exactly. I add something to yeah. what she said? Of course you can. Because obviously I've seen Chantel, a.k.a. Nova Sky, grow in it. Yeah. Can I just say, this, this woman's work ethic here It's is mad. crazy. Mad. Like... We've had battles because I've been one of them people saying, Shani, are you sure you want to do all of this? And Even my Cody, this is why I don't She looks at me and she's like, Ma, I'm going to do this. And I, I shit you not. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for swearing, but. <laughs> it was in the right context. Yeah, yeah no, but it's good though. Do you know what? She's a powerful woman and she doesn't quit. She doesn't even know how to give up. Do you know what I mean? And I've got a rate her for it because I've watched her grow so powerfully, so strong that it's inspired me. Mm-hmm. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? To kind of keep going because you know you have them days where you just think oh, i'm tired mm. 
I, I can't do no more. Mm. I'm kind of fight forever, you know what I mean? But like this world woman here, she showed me that, you know, it don't matter what you face in your life. You just gotta keep going. She doesn't take her foot off the brake. So well, thank you, Hemi. <laughs> she don't, no, she don't, she don't. Darling, <laughs> this is what I love, you know. It's just that, you know, work I mean, please, darling, you know how you work twenty four hours, some people this is what they could do with you at the job centre. <laughs> they can do with you at the job centre. Yeah. And I'm talking about as motivation. Yeah, how to use your time wisely. Yeah. yeah. About you want people to fill out booklets. Yeah. <laughs> to click how many times you've looked at a job. <laughs> Create your own stuff, guys. That's yeah. what we're saying here. Oh. Create your own. True, so um, listen. Yeah, so the music. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, um so yeah, we had those tracks written. So those So people released. can go and get money from where? Um, you can get money on Spotify, oh, Apple geez. Music. Mm -hmm. um, you can watch the video mm -hmm. on my page, Nova Sky. So it's N O V A S K Y I. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the I. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a we have a I have another single coming out. Um, mm -hmm. One I can't say who the other one is, but the next one I have out with three beautiful women. Um, it's called Nice. <laughs> um, it'll be with you in a couple of weeks. <laughs> and um, there is me. And I called up some beautiful women to be on the track of me. So there is Black Rose. <laughs> I'm going to catch her real soon. <laughs> Jodi Ann Natty. That's my baby. <laughs> and Simmer. Thank you so much. Now, seriously, girls, they came down to the studio. I said, look, I've got this track. Mm -hmm. I sent it to them. Um, some of some of the girls were on the same some, same management team, which is Trill City Global. Mm -hmm. Watch out. And um, I sent it to them. They were like, I'd done my verse and I'd done the chorus. And they were like, yep, yeah, damn. Set a date. They came in. We, we voiced just it. It's just in the it. mixing now. Mm. It's a bad track. Can't so wait. That's a whole heap. And there's, <laughs> even, and there's so much more you haven't even heard. Yeah. I'm just going to say... Underground. Underground. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> underground. The I underground is coming. Yeah, it's coming. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I can say a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Go on, go. We've got two minutes. Okay, okay, okay. Look, so The Underground um, is a music drama. We shut over the lockdown. Um, it's starring some big musical talent in this country. Mm -hmm. It's got its own original soundtrack. It's a music drama. Um, it's about a female called Keisha Love who basically falls off the wagon uh, years ago and becomes a homeless person. And when you start to see the program, it starts off with um, people looking for her um, because she witnesses a murder. Don't That's tell them no say. more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just know. No. Big shout <laughs> out to Ida Rose Production. <laughs> Big shouts out to the Prophecy mm -hmm. and the Kingship Studios. I'm just gonna say, when you see it, you're gonna understand about collaboration. Yeah, yeah. 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 However, people, what I got from this, I know what I got from this. I don't know what you got from this, but just let us know. This is the Queenship Podcast, but you know what? We don't end it like that. Who we're gonna have in the boo? PA time. Ah. Uh. Podcast. Shouts out to Peaches. Shouts out to Logic, Nova Sky, Kingship Studios. Ah, uh. yo. Break it down like citrus, but I ain't come to blend in. This brother here is leveling, and Katie's on the next thing. To whom I connect with, have to be selective, and all the talk achieve my objectives. But with my dialect. Every beat's getting dissected I'm killing beats so you can die next Too much levels, you ain't fucking with your highness No antidote, ill flow when I'm rhyming I ain't watching nothing, so don't ask me what the time is My art form priceless, therefore I'm timeless Natural glow, no need for a diamond But I drop gems on the beat for enticement It's winner stays on, I can do this all day long When hard times hit, motivated and I stay strong Never went the wrong way, just went that way wrong now I electrify the nation that can acorn The pain don't last, so you know that it's game on Blowing out your candle while I turn my flame on These are my scriptures, fam I don't make songs You make hits, but I'm crazy can ate bones As my mind intertwines with the beat, I produce heat I crouch with a tiger like I'm Bruce Lee Never spitting loosely, greatness consumes me Poetic flows in my frequency I don't even need a beat, this music's got a need for me so I extend my reach, strangle the track and then I let it breathe Two sex then I summons and unleash Give you nightmares in your onesie Talk behind my back but you can't front me You can't one on one so you gotta
jump me Knowledge is power so you know I got them jump leads No apologies when I speak abruptly Yo Verbally determined, assassinating the vermins All the hurts is for every single one of your verses Yeah?